All right, guys, so here's a wee one that we just found out this morning. So we've got a, it's a two litre uh, TDI Volkswagen engine, but it's in a man uh, commercial vehicle. This has actually got three EGR valves. So this one here is EGR1, that's EGR3, and the low pressure one is EGR2. Now this van's got a EGR valve control circuit B stuck. But what I'm going to quickly do is show you how to check the high pressure EGR is the low pressure EGR. This is the fault we have with this fan, it says EGR circuit B and it says B control stuck. But we're just having to determine which was, uh, which EGR is which. So it's got two high pressure EGRs and one low pressure EGR. And uh, let me just show you how to check that using the active tests and the live data on the scan tool. Right, so to do this, we're going to bring on the active tests. I'm using the Autel for that. There's EGR, high pressure EGR, that's the number one. EGR vacuum regulator solenoid 2 is a low pressure, that's the one that's at the back of the engine. And EGR valve 3 is the second high pressure EGR. So we'll do this one first. We'll bring on the live data at the same time if your tool allows it. We're going to bring on the math. By doing that, we can see how much is coming through the air filter and what, how much is coming through the engine. And all I'm going to do is press start. If that math changes, we know the valve is open and closing. You can actually hear the tone change on the engine anyway. You want to start it up, Dave? Right, so there's... So we're going to settle down. Right, OK. I'm going to press the start button. Without limits. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there was a tone change in the engine. See how the math is changing? Limits to regulate. Switches it off, jumps back up to 15. That proves that the EGR valve is open and closing because we're getting a different amount of air going through the air filler. Right, let's do the same for the second high pressure EGR valve. So let's put the live data. Natural value, OK. Start without limits. Ah, right, EGR valve solenoid 2. Get the live data up, let's press the start, without limits. There is no change. I can even hear there's no change, tone change in the engine. So the low pressure EGR valve is stuck. But to be fair, the DTC has told us that, but we had to determine which was one, two, and three. Right, just to prove a point, I've put the oscilloscope on it. I'm on the high pressure one EGR valve and I'm running the active test using the hotel and we can see right, no pulse width modulation there you can actually hear the tone change in the engine let's see what happens here when it alters it there we go you can see it's pulsing now to be fair that did the same for EGR3 which is the other high pressure as soon as you do the low pressure literally within a second it switches off like the ECU is protecting itself because it can see the valve shut and it's throwing too many amps there we go. 